welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is day seven. That means we're one weekend to the advent. Holy moly, this is so freaking fun. Thank you for being here. Thanks for choosing to watch my advent. I'm having a blast with this. This is a darn good time. I've been surprised, I've been shocked, I've enjoyed some things, I have not enjoyed other things. Now, I'm excited to figure out what we got for day seven. It could be anything. Well, it's gonna be something, obviously. So, let's go. Let me crack open, crack it open. I don't know if I'm cracking it open, but I'm cracking it open, pouring it in. There we go. Got some in the glass. I got a hair in my face, it was driving me nuts. All right. Here we go, without further ado, cheers to you. Thanks for being here. Love you, I appreciate you, I'm grateful for you. Now let's do this thing. Doing, 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 jingle bells, jingle. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, so, the good news is, after day six, the color is a lot darker on this one, if you can't tell. Day six was a, ni a nightmare. Go back and watch it if you haven't, because it was not good. Now, we're on to day seven, and this has a really nice, dark amber color. It's actually pretty dark. Now, let's go. Let's smell it. On the nose, it's nice. Ugh. Right off the bat, I like the nose. I get some caramel, vanilla, a light hint, a light hint of peanut or oak. Definitely a little bit of oak. It could be a little bit of peanut. Peanut or oak. Maybe an almond, an almond, yeah, an almond, but not like overpowering powering almond. It's just an almond, vanilla, caramel, brown sugar. It smells very rich, enjoyable. Mm. Doesn't burn the nose hairs. Oh, right away, I'm getting like Knob Creek vibes off of this nose. I could be, t for sure, I could be totally wrong, but I'm getting like, Knob Creek, or maybe like a, I'm gonna pull it away for a second. Maybe like Heaven Hill vibes. Somewhere along that, that's what I'm getting. Like a little bit of nuttiness. It might be more of like a, a Booker's type nuttiness, something like that. I don't know. Anyhow, it smells good. It, sm it smells great actually, it smells fantastic. Now let's try it. Whoa, do you know those turtles, those turtle candies, the chocolate, the caramel, the nuts? That's what this smells like. It smells freaking good. <laughs> Every time I go back, I'm like, I gotta use this big nose for something. Let me tell you. Now, let's try it. Oh yeah. That's definitely gotta be like a Knob Creek something. That's like a Knob Creek. Let me take another sip, but. Warmth. I'm gonna go with this is a Knob Creek single barrel. It's not overly nutty, but I get a good amount of caramel, richness, warmth on the back of my throat. I'm going with 120 proof just because I really feel that this is like a Knob Creek single barrel. Oh, it smells delicious. It tastes delicious. I would buy it a hundred million times a week. It's warm, has enough spice in it. It's got chocolate, caramel, vanilla, a little bit of nuttiness. I really love this. I, I love this. Mm. Oh yeah. So freaking good. Love it. Buy it. Recommend it. Whatever this is. This is my jam right here. That's my jam. That's so freaking good. It's oily. Mm. Oh yeah. That's one that I love. I love that. Now, let's figure out what it is. Holy freaking moly, that's good. I'm just gonna take this and go away and come back. Like, that's really freaking good. Now, here we go. Let's figure it out. Let's go. Whoa! Okay, okay. So, I shouldn't have done, I do this all the freaking time. I get one bottle in my mind and then I go for it. I go all in on it. This one actually comes from our collection. This one is an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C922, 124.8 proof. So. Here's, I did say Heaven Hill or Knob Creek. I should have went with the Heaven Hill, but I definitely got, I thought it was Knob Creek single barrel. 
I was a little bit off of my proof, but within five, so that's pretty good. Uh, I was kind of like not hedging it, I guess. Is that what you call it if you like, you're like, okay, I'm pretty sure it's this bottle, so I'm just going all in on this guess. I think hedging is the opposite of that, actually. I'm pretty sure hedging is when you're like, I'm gonna say it tastes like 125 proof, but I think it's a Knob Creek single barrel, which you're hedging on. You're gonna get a few more points because you got that. Anyway, whatever. I'm talking myself in circles. I had to talk myself into that because sometimes I'm not very smart. So there we have it. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C922, 124.8 proof from our collection. Freaking love this. So delicious, so good. Good proof, good flavor, good spice. I love it, love it, love it, love it. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments and really do appreciate you. Wow, sorry, that one hair is just driving me insane. Anyhow, I really appreciate you guys sticking around for Advent. We'll be back with more of The Average Drinker tomorrow for day eight. I'll see you then, cheers. <laughs>